Tonight, people in Charleston are coming together to stand in solidarity with Israel. News 2's Jordan Sayopa was at Synagogue Emmanuel, where a rally took place. As far away as Israel may seem to some, for many others here in Charleston, the horrific events over the weekend hit close to home. Many people here have friends and family who live in Israel, and tonight they came together to show support and to lean on one another. Song, prayer, and hope inside Synagogue Emmanuel Wednesday night. You know, in times like this, uh, people really need to be together. The gathering came on the heels of the deadly Hamas terrorist attacks in Israel over the weekend. More than 500 people came to show their support for Israel and mourn those who were brutally murdered. Immediately, your mind goes to which of my family members are in Israel right now? Who may be visiting them? Those questions being asked by so many members of the Jewish community in Charleston and around the country. The first I started reaching out to all the different um, friends and family that are there. Um, they all said, I'm safe, but what, where it was happening to us right now, usually it's not the case that it's worse than what you see on the news. The holy city is standing firm in its support for Israel. Mayor John Tecklenburg and Charleston City Councilman Ross Appel were among the several local leaders who attended the rally. Appel says in the wake of the attacks, the Charleston Police Department checked in with every synagogue in the community. On Tuesday, council adopted an emergency resolution condemning Hamas terrorism. In closing, I just want to say this. I'm proud to be Jewish. I stand with Israel. And on this issue, for sure, Charleston is united. Tomorrow, a Charleston Stands with Israel event will take place at Charleston City Hall at 530. Reporting in West Ashley, I'm Jordan Sayopa. Count on two.